My name is Katie. Uh, this is my work over here. Um, my work uh, came to be really as kind of a fusion of two of my interests that I've had in my undergrad, uh, that being human psychology and kind of the emotions associated with our need to be connected to one another and kind of how modern technology is aided in that sort of yearning to be connected to other humans in our relationships. And um, I focus on the image of the power line, which is kind of part of this modern technology that makes it possible for us to be connected to everyone. And um, I try to invoke a lot of emotions associated with these relationships that we have uh, in my pieces. I like to juxtapose feelings of um, isolation or loneliness with uh, you know, social closeness or even social overload as we kind of experience sometimes with our social media. Okay, you want to talk about process a little bit? Uh, the sculptures came first. Um, as you can see, after a while I wasn't able to be in the sculpture studio anymore uh, for safety reasons. And um, a lot of it is steel fabrication um, and metal. I also have some woodwork uh, kind of married with the steel and uh, a bronze cast. Uh, and all of the wire that I used started out as a huge box of extension cords in my mom's garage. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was hours and hours and hours of uh, stripping the rubber to get the copper out of and then treating the copper inside with acids and using a torch to kind of get this effect, this sort of frayed out effect that you see here with the wire. Uh, and the watercolors were drawings and paintings that came later to complement the sculptures. Uh, she asked what I'm going to do next. Um, yeah, or to continue. Um, well, uh, after <laughs> after my baby's born in February, and I can kind of get back into the swing of things, I'd like to kind of take the idea that I had with this show and sort of push it a little further. I'd like to make more big works, like you see here, potentially several of these to kind of fill a space and sort of create an environment, more of an installation. Um, and uh, I'm going to keep painting and drawing, I think, forever. <laughs> but I would really like to sort of further my knowledge in sculpture and uh, do more big things. She asked if I uh, had a really solid idea of what I was going to make I think, before I start making it uh, or not. And I would say I'm kind of the artist that uh, I just start making something. It's really hard for me to have a finished product in my head when I'm uh, beginning a project. And uh, a lot of times they just sort of create themselves. Um, and I keep getting inspired as I'm creating work. And uh, that's really how it happens. They kind of make themselves. She asked about scale and how scale impacts the viewer, um, which I guess is something you all would know better than me uh, as viewers of the pieces. But um, I think in the last couple semesters of uh, my undergrad experience, it was all about going big. It was all about uh, having a presence with your work and kind of confronting the viewer with you know the fact that this object is here, it's big, and it's right in front of you. Um, and that's really kind of the idea with all of these was sort of the bigger the better, you know, bigger is more impressive and uh, you know makes you stop and look at it and uh, wonder what it is, what it's supposed to be. I was just saying as we were winding up and moving on to the next person that she really understands line. And people that are artists would understand what I mean. It's line and the quality of line. 